Hello children, we continue our reading classes. Today's reading is dedicated to a book. Books are one of the greatest wonders in the world. Today, we will read a poem by an English children's poet, Julia Donaldson. I opened a book. Let us begin with an introduction of the poet. Julia Donaldson is an English children's author. She has written more than 100 plays and books for the children and teenagers. Donaldson served as a children's laureate of the United Kingdom from 2011 to 2013. The laureate's job is to promote children's literature. Her early life Donaldson was born on September 16, 1948 in England. She studied drama and French at the University of Bristol. Afterwards, she worked in publishing and as a teacher. Eventually, she began writing songs for children's television. Her writing career. Donaldson went on to write some of the United Kingdom's best-selling picture books. Donaldson also wrote books for older children and teenagers, as well as number of plays. In 2011, she was made a member of the British Empire, a high British honor. I opened a book, and in I strode. Now nobody can find me. I've left my chair, my house, my road, my town and my world behind me. Okay children, now we will go with explanation stanza wise. The first four lines describe how a reader can get lost in a book once they start, until they are unaware of the world around them. When we open a book, we open a new world. Books follow us during all our life, enriching our mind with knowledge and wisdom. And our world is left behind as we search into a new one on paper. I'm wearing the cloak, I've slipped on the ring, I've swallowed the magic potion. I fought with a dragon, dined with a king, and dived in a bottomless ocean. The next four lines are basically experiences one can have in a story. I'm wearing a cloak, I have slipped on the ring. This line can be taken in different ways. The person I slipped on as in tripped, fell over or maybe slide on the ring. Then again, you can also see it as slipped on as in put on finger the ring. I swallowed the magic potion considering that the potion is any liquid with medicinal, magical or poisonous properties. I fought with the dragon, dined with the king, and died in a bottomless ocean shows lots of possibilities to explore. I opened a book and made some friends. I shed the tears and laughter and followed the road with its bumps and bends to the happily ever after. In the third stanza, the lines are reflecting life in a way that reading is a way to experience life and at the same time avoid it because you can hide with that cloak from the troubles, those bumps and bends of life in a book. 
and you can figure out how to navigate those bands through reading as well. I finished my book and out I came. The cloak can no longer hide me. My chair and my house are just the same. But I have a book inside me. The last four lines state that the books can't shield us forever from the world and they'll always be finite. Life will be just the same after you finish. That chair, that house will be the same as when you started. But now you have one more book inside you, one more list of experiences, one more piece of advice to entertain you, another memory of experiences you have shared. Finally, let us have a look at the analysis. The readers find themselves inside the world of the text, as if transported to foreign lands and foreign eras, as if they have been many different people, embodied in many different fictional characters. By engaging imaginatively and emotionally with the text, the readers can enter into the fictional world. And setting themes to them, like locations they can visit, the many characters like roles they can inhabit or real like real people with whom they can interact as imaginary friends. The readers feel that they have been absorbed into the world of the text and sometimes into the characters. The poem has a pleasant sort of meter and it has a subtle rhyming quality. Words like strode and road, ring and king, potion, ocean, etc. Thank you children. I hope you enjoyed the poem.